Hello, my lovely community. Welcome to my new video. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Lex, and this is my island, Xenia. I captured the perfect title screen today. It was just Kiki hanging out, singing like the queen that she is. I don't think I've ever had such a good title screen. We are pleased. We are pleased. Also, I haven't released the video yet, but... I actually unlocked terraforming. So next week you're gonna see the video of me finding that out. I'm just really bad at uploading in the right order. And also today the Able Sisters came. I gave those two announcements in the opposite order as Isabel. But anyway, that's what's happening today. So we're gonna check both of those things out. And I am like so excited about the, I mean, we can finally terraform Zinnia. We're not gonna do it today. Today is a casual little let's play. But I hope we have a good time. I don't really have a goal for today, but we'll see what happens. I guess since we're doing terraforming, I need to work on getting Nook Miles so I can unlock everything. But first of all, let's head over to the KK concert and see what's going on. Now that we're here, I kind of wish I'd waited and gotten all 10 of my residents for this island just because it would have been cute to have this little scene all together. The only time that everyone will attend a KK concert at the same time, even with Blathers and the Nooks and Isabel, everybody together, but that's okay. I wanted to save some of the villager hunting for my Saturday streams, so that is why I did not do that. That's why I didn't wait, but you know, you win some, you lose some. I really like this KK concert. I feel like it's just, I don't know, it's very nostalgic for me because it took me ages the first time I went through the game to actually unlock terraforming. I guess because it took so much longer to like get materials and items since I didn't have the community that I have now, but this is so cool because it just reminds me of how happy and proud that I was on Rivendell when I first unlocked terraforming and everything that comes with it. I love this part as well right after the KK concert when he like thanks everyone for coming and everyone claps together but then it kind of like it fades out and you go to your tent. Here we are. Let's go. And Tom Nook is just standing there casually like a stalker. Also why did you come out of your house when you were already outside because you were attending uh, the event? I don't know. I don't know. But this is where Tom Nook does his little dancey dance and gives you the terraforming app the island designer so this is a pivotal moment in zinnia history we love to experience it together and look how cute it i'm so thankful to you and everyone i love you tom nook i have tom nook's build-a-bear 12 out of 10 12 out of 10 he looks wonky as heck wonky as heck i love it just look at him go what a king what a king and here we are, here we have it, the Island Designer app! Oh my gosh, this is big. This is so big. We are gonna make big moves soon. Not now, but soon, very soon. Now that I'm thinking about it, the in order to like actually use the Island Designer app with the like permits, it does cost a lot. Also, my pockets are full from the previous video that I haven't posted yet. So let me just, let me just put that away. While I do that, thank you to Exter for sponsoring today's video. They were kind enough to send me this smart wallet and what makes it smart, you may ask. First of all, there's RFID protection in this wallet, but second, it comes with a super cool card mechanism feature where you can put up to six cards in the wallet, press the button, and they'll come out in a way that will make it much easier for you to grab them. Put your most used card in the back and boom. Super easy to grab, especially if you're like in a drive through or something. Also holds money and there's an app that goes with this tracker you see me holding. The tracker is solar powered. Two hours of sun powering and boom, you have three months of charge. So this wallet is amazing. Thank you so much, Dexter, for sending it to me and for sponsoring today's video. I appreciate you. Let's get back into it. So obviously as i've mentioned in my recent videos i'm working with very limited storage so i'm trying to limit how much i keep in my house that's why it's also packed with furniture right now but never mind that uh we're gonna walk around here i want to pick up as many seashells as possible but also i need to visit able sisters since it's new today so you all can join me 
and do all of that as we attempt to collect Nook Miles as well. I don't know why it feels like so much of a hassle every time I have to get my vaulting pole out. I need to build a bridge here. And here we go. It's my queen. Oh my gosh, look at Filbert. Filbert, he is so little. Look at him being a fashion icon. I love him. He's also attentive to Sable. Oh my gosh, I can't. Anyway, Mabel has been talking to me and I'm just skipping through because you only live once and I've read this dialogue like 400 times. But look at Filbert being an absolute king. Also, if you don't already know, if you keep talking to Sable, you will unlock custom patterns that you can use when you're customizing items. So definitely do that. Talk to her and become friends. Also, I forgot, but this means that we can access the custom design portal. I'm going to download two designs. They should be on the screen. Um, hopefully, if I put, I'm going to put them in manifesting, but I'm going to go ahead and download some designs that I've been wanting for Xenia and hopefully if all goes well, I will at some point in this video use them. Also, I was trying not to talk anymore at the custom design portal, but I was just thinking about it and I just wanted to say that I will be keeping the custom designs for this island updated at the link in my description. Uh, I will make sure that every code that I use on Xenia is uploaded as I upload the speed builds using them. That way, if you're ever wondering about a custom design, you can get it that way. Now I'm just going to check out the dressing room for the first and maybe the last time if they don't give us a shopping cart soon. First I'm just thinking here that I really want a hula top, but also will I use one? I don't know. I don't know. That's a cute first thing to have though. That's actually why I wanted to check the dressing room besides the fact that this is their first day on the island and I want clothes. Oh, I love these dresses! Both sets, the uh, halter dresses and the ones above them are so cute. I'm thinking green for the halter and then we can just pick out an outfit here. I think I want, I want the dark glasses. Definitely my brand. And these socks are cute, but there are no shoes that go with them. Okay, I think these shoes will pop off without the socks. Let's go, she cute! I wish the green, yeah, you know, maybe the green does work. And then I want, I want one of these mini hats. I never wear them because I always think they look goofy, but how cute is that? You can't tell me it's not cute because it is. And for once I do want to wear what I picked out. Look how cute I am, I love this little hat. Oh, I love getting new clothes in the game. I was gonna cut this out also because I was just doing some random extra shopping, but then, tragedy tragedy struck and i accidentally said that i wanted to wear this too so now here i am pantsless absolutely no decency no decorum look at me go pantsless through my island we love to see it or do we i visited my house to fix the problem but now i think i want to talk to my villagers that is one thing that'll help me get nook miles maybe not quickly but in the in the long run so Oh my gosh, Bon Bon's telling me about the sun. At night, some of the starlight we see has traveled billions of years to get here to our island. I want to make a joke about me being a star, but I'm too busy being amazed by nature. Look at her go. What a peppy queen. I'm also going to stop in and visit the Nook Twins because I have to compulsively buy everything that they're selling so that I have it in my catalog just in case. I know that I'm not going to use like anything in this room right now. But am I going to buy every single thing I see? Yes, after I sell everything in my inventory. Hi, it's post video Lex again because I rambled through this whole part. But essentially what happens here is I buy everything and then I sell the clothesline because I decide that I don't need it. But I am excited about the little, the little frame beside that, the little welcome sign. Because I can give it to one of the villagers with a cute house. So thanks, thanks for listening. It's just struck me that I haven't visited Kiki yet today. Gotta do that now. Our queen, the love of my life. Kiki, my favorite villager in the whole world. If you missed it in my community tab the other day, Kiki has already asked to leave, like literally a week after I got her. 
I also got some Nook Miles just now. Hey, I can't even remember which three people I talked to, but yay. Look at that, 7,000 Nook Miles. I'm so close to having the like 27K total you need in order to buy all the pads and all. Woo, we are moving right along. Oh, 2,000, okay. That's actually pretty nifty. Okay, now that I've said the word nifty, I'm thinking of the Rick and Morty Swifty song. I'm just gonna head out. I'm just gonna take a break here. Update, it's just struck me that if I just make like an edit to any of the custom designs, I'll get more Nook Miles points. So I wanted you all to experience my first custom design making. Incredible. I'm gonna name this aptly the way it should be named. Um, I Let me know if you want me to upload my creator code so you can use this for your own island. It, yeah. Looky there, aspiring artist. I actually do want to be an artist, but that's a soft point for me. I'm also going to talk to Sylvia. I really keep wanting to give her gifts because she's so nice. She is so kind, but I can't do it. Like, I'm going to let her go and I just don't want to give gifts to a villager that I'm going to eventually let move out because that feels rude. Another thing that I remembered would give me Nook Miles points is changing the island flag and the island tune. And I'm not gonna put any effort into this. This is a zero effort space. So I'm just gonna change the tune. I would do wanna eventually find some kind of cute little tune to make the island theme. But for now, it's just gonna be this slightly edited version of the original one. Actually, like, message on Discord or something if you know cute themes for islands, because I don't know what to make Xenia's. So if you've seen any of those pages that, like, have different songs you can use that are made by other people, let me know. Let me know. I really need one. Mine for Antilia was, like, the Imperial March or something. Completely unrelated to the island. So no pressure to fit Xenia's vibe. It doesn't have a vibe. I'm also going to make a plain design slot my flag, because... I don't know. I don't know. My custom design is just not, not hitting. Look at that. Look at me go. Moving forward here, the waterscaping and cliff building permits are so expensive. 6,000 Nook Miles. It takes forever to get that much in the beginning. But here we go. We got it. We got it. And we got River. Woo! It kind of makes me mad that everything is so expensive at the beginning and it's so hard to get Nook Miles. But then later in the game when you don't need a single Nook Mile for anything at all except for maybe Nook Miles tickets if you have to villager hunt, you have like a billion. You have like a million Nook Miles just sitting there with nothing to do. Anyway. Friends, we got them Nook Miles and that's all that matters. I also want to go ahead and take advantage of the fact that there are double points on some of the Nook Miles Plus things still because I haven't completed those achievements yet. So we're going to go around and try to get as many of those as possible. I'm going to hunt for bugs first because fishing is the bane of my existence when I'm filming since I have the sound off for the- I mean I have the sound off for the game most of the time no matter what. but. When I'm filming, I can't turn the game sound up because it just distracts me. And honestly, I don't know how to turn it on with the Elgato software. So don't at me. Am, am dumb. But yes, I'm going to bug hunt since fish hunting is a little bit, a little bit more difficult. Also, I think chopping trees was one. We'll shake this tree and then let's see what's going on. I think the chopping trees achievement is 10. Which is so infuriating, like why wouldn't they make it 9 so that it's divisible by 3, which is the number of- Oh my- I forgot to shake this tree with a net. You know what? We're living on the edge today. We are living- we're just gonna- it's like- It's like chopping tree roulette. Like when will the wasp fall, you know what I mean? Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, the fact that it's not- also we're lucky we didn't get stung by a wasp. But it's so infuriating that- the goal is divisible by three. It means you have to chop an extra tree for nothing, for no reason. Although this is motivating to get my life together and actually, like, gather resources. Could not usually be me. So that handles the wood chopping. Now we need to, okay, we need to hit rocks. We need to fish, ew. We need three more bugs. 
And I got, wow, double the Nook Miles points for doing the trees today. And another one. <laughs> Just for chopping the trees, I got three Nook Miles achievements. Look at me go. Look at me go. Also, look at Graham go. Look at his little glasses. He looks so cute when he's wearing reading glasses, actually. I took a picture and I meant to share it in the community tab, but I forgot. And look at Robin, if you missed it. She was someone we brought home in the latest villager hunt. She's so cute, I love her. I can't believe that these lovely ladies are having a conversation without me. I didn't even read the, what am I doing? I cannot multitask. All kinds of tips to be popular. I saw one tip that said to agree with everyone constantly, even if you actually don't. Like what? What do you think, Lex? Forget that noise. <laughs> this is the 90s, okay. Forget that noise. I think this is the, is this the magazine dialogue? She found like a magazine or something. Good for you, Bonbon, bon, for having your own opinion. Now I'm gonna hit this rock. I have to hit it five times, so I just chose this one and didn't bother digging up the fossil or picking up the other stone. This I only needed to hit it five times anyway. I really do be not prioritizing getting materials because I'm like, you know, I'll just find a treasure island. But then I'm too lazy to actually get online to go to treasure island, so. You tell me how I'm gonna build Zinnia. You tell me. Cause I don't know. Besties, it's time to bite the bullet and fish. Manifest five straight catches, please. Uh, okay. So manifest now for the future. Oh my gosh, look at Sprocket go. I'm not lying. Every time I see him, I like him a little bit more. I don't know why, I don't know why, because I literally spent like the whole of 2020 hating that guy. But he's okay, he's pretty all right now. I'm not mad at it, might still let him go, but. Okay, manifest, a catch. Yes, yes. It is so hard to fish without sound. I didn't realize until I started recording videos how much I depend on sound to catch the fish, but I definitely do. We're on a pretty solid streak now. Honestly, call me Willie from Stardew Valley because I do be a professional fisher, a fisher woman, if you will. That was also iconic the first time I got like the yes message for catching a sea bass. I wanna get these, how do you stalk forward without like slamming your net down? Hold on, okay. Let's go, let's get, what are these called? Like water roaches? Sea roaches? Something roach, right? Okay, it doesn't matter. We won't know. Okay, last fish. L Never mind. Um. Apparently I'm just bad at catching any kind of critter, but I think this is the fifth bug. I think we're good to go. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, I got the I got the notification. Heck yeah. And we only need one more fish, so I'm not I'm not complaining. Also, now I can go diving for sea creatures. That's kind of tedious though, I'm not gonna lie. What, did I have another Nook Mile achievement? Let me. Heck yeah, I'm the island ichthyologist. Can I click on the where? Yeah, okay. The island ichthyologist, small fry pesca pro. I don't know what pesca pro even means, but yes. Now I'm gonna run and go sell all these fish and things and, oh my God. No, I didn't mean to hit her with the shovel. Robin, I'm so sorry. Okay, besties, it is post video Lex again. I'm gonna go ahead and cut myself off here because tragedy is about to strike. Um, I went through this whole thing where I realized that if I planted each of the fruits, I would get a lot of Nook Miles and you know, that was exciting. I would get to go and buy some paths. But then upon rewatching all of my footage, my capture card decided that it was gonna just leave the room for the last like 10 minutes of my video. So I have decided that in place of watching me buy the paths and terraform the first block on Zinnia, you will get to experience a different kind of entertainment. The first verse for Vanilla Ice's Ice Ice Baby. Here we go. All right, stop. 
collaborate and listen. Ice is back with my brand new invention, something. Grabs a hold of me tightly, flow like a harpoon daily and nightly. Will it ever stop? Yo, I okay, don't know. Bye. Turn off the lights and I'll 